Hey what's going on guys, my name is Kyle and welcome back to the channel. So as I'm sure you've already heard a million times and I've heard all the discussion about and all that stuff and read about it, YouTube videos and blah 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 blah, all that stuff, Black Ops 4 isn't exactly having a campaign. What? How can you do this? This is outrageous. It's unfair. But wait, wait, if you think about it, that, that may not be such a bad thing. When I first heard it, guys, I, I was raging too. I was not happy. Call of Duty needs campaigns. That was my thought process. But then I thought of a few things. I was like, well, maybe this is the right call. So in today's video, guys, this isn't my normal like top five, like super entertaining video. I just want to discuss with you guys my opinions on Black Ops 4. Because as you guys know and can see from my channel, I love Call of Duty Zombies. That's mainly what this channel is about. And I've been doing some other games until Black Ops 4 comes out. But I really, really am passionate about Call of Duty Zombies. And obviously that comes from Call of Duty and especially Treyarch and, you know, Treyarch Zombies. So I really just want to talk about my opinion on this after playing COD for a long time and just why this might not actually be as terrible as it seems at first. So I have three main reasons I'm going to talk about, but I just want to clarify this isn't like a top three. It's not like that kind of video. I really just want to discuss this. It's just three points, no particular order. It's just all the points I'm going to go through to discuss why Black Ops 4 not having campaign may have been the right move. My first point guys is that, let's be honest, as a Call of Duty community, each release by what, no, no matter what developer it is, we play the campaign less and less and less each year. Now some of those times the campaigns just aren't that good, they haven't been that good recently. They've been kind of predictable and even crappy. I mean I spent 5, maybe even 600 hours in Black Ops 3, it was like 5 last time I checked, but I mean I've played it after that. And I never played campaign. I have like one and a half hours in campaign. One hour is 30 minutes. I did it one time, one mission, one time by myself, and one time with friends. I never touched it. it I did not like it at all. And I think they're noticing this with each developer in each game. No one played World Wars 2s. I mean, we don't even have time for World War 2. We're playing Fortnite. The only thing we're going to do in World War 2 is check out new maps and maybe play multiplayer. And I played zombies a few times. But it, eh, eh, no, no, no. I don't even play it that much anymore because I'll go into it and I'll play the new map like once or twice and then I'll go back to Fortnite or Overwatch or Paladins. I've been playing a little bit of Paladins recently. So people go into these games and let alone no one plays campaign but even people aren't really playing multiplayer and zombies right now because of Fortnite and other games. So let alone no one's playing campaign. I mean, no one plays that. Even in Infinite Warfare, back before really games got way more popular than Call of Duty, no one really played it. It wasn't awful, but each game it seems like it's getting less and less popular, you know? So I can see their decision and wanted to move past it, because financially they're probably losing money from it. Nobody's playing it and they're placing the manpower. And that's going to lead me to my next point, that I think it, exactly what I said, I think it's a huge waste of manpower. Imagine. All that development team that can go into something else, that can go into multiplayer or to zombies, that can make that mode better or even make a new mode, guys. That'd be awesome. Do something no Call of Duty uh, developer has never done. Imagine Jason Blundell. If you guys don't know who that is, he's the director for Treyarch Zombies. He came, I, the, I, my facts could be a little off, but I'm pretty sure he came on Mob of the Dead because he was the director of Campaign at the time. And they're like, hey, you want to do uh, Mob of the Dead? And he did it. One of the best maps ever. That's what could happen here, guys. They could take guys from the campaign development and move them into multiplayer zombies, and they just do extraordinary and take those so far. And my last point, guys, is this a huge, huge word in Call of Duty, one that especially Mr. T Lex Fi and a lot of YouTubers have talked about innovation. Innovation. Call of Duty, especially Treyarch, is taking that step, guys. You have to realize that he's on the same thing every single game, every year, every developer. Same formula. Campaign, cam campaign, not campaign, campaign, multiplayer, zombies, and a few extra modes that no one cares about, right? Now, personally, uh, Free Run is one of my favorite modes. I, I like that. But most people don't even pay attention to the other modes. It's just those three every year, same thing. And then these other games came in, especially the one, the big one, Fortnite. Fortnite comes in and changes everything. It's huge. It's different. It's so refreshing for the Call of Duty community. Look at those YouTubers. 
Look at those YouTubers that do Fortnite. A lot of them think Call of Duty is refreshing, it's new, it's good for their channels. This is what Treyarch is realizing that they have to change. If they want their community back, if they want not only their YouTubers, but even just their players and their fans, their whole community to come back and really rise up for Call of Duty and get excited for it again, they have to change the game. I know you guys and myself are going to be nostalgic campaign. I will miss it. You guys will miss it. Everyone will. But you have to respect them as a company if they're willing to take that risk to innovate so Call of Duty doesn't get, doesn't die. Because they, they do realize that if they do the same thing again and it's not incredible, Call of Duty is going to die. And they really have to, they have to make money. They're a business. They have to innovate. They have to change. And that's why I think this is a really good move. It's risky. It's a huge step. But it's necessary, guys. They have to innovate. They have to change. Guys, that is my opinion on Black Ops 4 and the whole campaign not being there and everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It's not super entertaining or anything like that. I just really want to get my thoughts out there because I felt really passionate about this and looking into it. I thought it was really interesting. So I just want to get my thoughts out there, discuss with you guys, get some real Call of Duty, some real Call of Duty talk with you guys. But that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and God bless.